Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to create this realistic sofa in Blender which is very easy to make and I hope that you will learn many things while making this sofa. So let's get started. Ok so here's our default scene so let's delete everything. So press A and delete to delete everything. Now let's add in our own cube. And now press 1 to go to fronty mode and let's scale it down on the Z axis just a little bit. And let's move it a bit upwards. And now let's scale it down on the y-axis just a little bit. Okay, just like that. Now let's decrease the scale on the z-axis just a little bit. And let's scale up on the x-axis. Now press Ctrl A to apply the scale. Now let's go to modifier and let's add in a bevel modifier. And decrease the amount. And set the segments to 3. And now let's add in a subdivision surface modifier. Now let's set the level viewport to 2. Now let's go to edit mode and let's add in some few loop cuts. So this will be the base of our sofa. So let's set the segments to 6. And now let's add again some edge loops. And we need some square geometry. Okay. So let's go to cloth. So go to physics and let's add in a cloth modifier. So let's set the pressure to 5 and set the gravity to 0. So under field weights the gravity to 0. Now let's simulate cloth. So let's bring up this timeline and press and press place. So now you can see that we are simulating cloth. So so far are not used to be very fluffy. So we will see the correct frame for a bit thickness plus fluffy. So I think this frame 2 is right. So let's set it smooth. And now let's apply all of these modifiers. Now for the back cover let's duplicate this one. So press shift D and press R and X and 90 to rotate on the 90 degree. Now press 3 to go to side view mode and let's move it on the Y axis. Ok so now let's create the armrest of the sofas. So we will duplicate this one and press shift D or X and sorry Y and 90 to rotate on the Y 90 degree. Now press 1 and let's scale down on the X, Z axis and press G and X to and now, and now let's scale down on the X axis and let's move it on the Z axis. And now let's scale it down to an appropriate size. Okay, so I think this size, I think it is fine, but let's just a little bit. Okay, now let's bring it to the level of the base. Okay, now let's duplicate this one. So press, so now go to modifier and add in a mirror modifier and set the mirror object to this base. Okay, so it is automatically measured on the x-axis now let's add in some cushions so go to add mesh and a cube now press 1 to go to fronty mode and scale down on the z-axis and now let's scale down on the x-axis and now let's scale down on the y-axis because it's a bit longer now press 7 to go to top view mode and now we have to leave a gap for our back cushions so let's scale down scale up on the y axis just a bit okay so i think this is fine so now let's simulate cloth with this one also so let's press ctrl a to apply the scale and let's add in a bevel modifier and decrease the amount and increase and set the segments to 3 and let's shade it smooth. Now let's add in a subdivision surface modifier and set the level viewport to 2 and make sure that the level viewport and render are set to the same number. Now let's go to edit mode and let's add in some few loop cuts in a square geometry. So I think 8 are fine. Now we need square polygons because square polygons work pretty accurately rather than rectangle geometry with cloth ok so as you can see these polygons are square so let's simulate cloth with this one also so go to physics and cloth and 
set the pressure to 5 and set the gravity to 0. Now let's simulate cloth. Okay, so as you can see, we are simulating cloth. So let's find a pretty good frame for our cushion. So they should not look very fluffy. So I think this frame 3 is looking good. So let's go to modifier and apply all of these modifier. And now press 1 and let's see. So press 7 for toffee mode. And let's duplicate this on the x-axis. Okay, so I think we have taken the perfect size. But in case if your cushions do not match perfectly in distance, you can always scale them on the x-axis. So let's move it on the x-axis just a little bit. Okay, just like that. Now let's duplicate this on the back covers. So press shift D, R, X and 90. And let's move it on the y-axis. And now go to fronty mode and let's scale down on the z-axis. And they should be just a little bit higher than the back support. Okay, so just like that. Let's increase the scale just a little bit. Okay. Now they are pretty looking pretty good. Now let's copy them on the X axis. Now let's add some details. So let's select this cushion and press Ctrl to apply the scale. Now let's go to sculpt mode and now let's go all the way down till you see this cloth brush. Now let's add some details with this cloth brush. So if you drag on the pillow you can see that it is adding some detail. So let's decrease the radius and let's add in some details. So I am just adding subtle details because otherwise it will look very weird. Ok so I am repeating the same process with everyone. Apply the scale and go to sculpt mode. Ok so now we have added some detail to our cushions. Now they are looking pretty good. Ok so now let's add the legs of the sofa. So press 1 to go to fronty mode and let's add in a cube. And let's scale it down all the way up. And let's move it on the x-axis. So the legs will be right below the arm rests. So press 3 to for side view. And let's move it on the y-axis. Okay, so now let's scale it down just a little bit again. And let's move it on the x-axis. Now press Ctrl A to apply the scale. And also let's scale it down on the y-axis just a little bit. Okay, so press Ctrl A to apply the scale. Now let's go to edit mode and now let's select this edge. And now we will do something extraordinary. So press Ctrl B to bevel and let's increase the segments as much as you want. Now don't click anywhere, just set the profile type to custom. By the way, if this pop-up doesn't appear, you can always click here. So set that to custom. Now you can add custom curves to set that. Okay, so now as you can see, I have created this cool pattern. So let's go to object mode and now let's add in a bevel modifier. Let's decrease the amount. Okay, so point 0.1 is good and let's increase the segments and let's it smooth. Now let's mirror this on all of the four sides. So let's add in a mirror modifier and set the mirror object to this base and also check Y for mirroring on the Y axis. Now let's move it down just a little bit. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now the modeling of our sofa has been done. So let's add in some small cushions which are very easy to make. So let's add a mesh and let's add in a cube. And now let's scale it down. Now let's go to edit mode and let's add some edge loops. Okay, so 8 I think is right. And let's make them square. Okay, 7. Now let's add in a subdivision surface modifier and set that to 2. And now let's add in a cloth modifier and set the pressure to 5 and 
set the gravity to zero. And now let's simulate this cloth. Okay, so now as you can see, our cushion is simulating. But if you want more detail, you can go to edit mode, press A to select all, and subdivide again. Now we will have much more detail. So the more subdivision you have, the more detail it, it would look. Okay, so now I think this is looking very good. So let's go to modifier and apply this modifiers. Okay, now let's move it on the corner of the sofa. Now let's press Shift to duplicate on the X axis. Now press Ctrl M to mirror and press X to mirror on the X axis. Now it's time for materials. So I am using Blender Kit for materials. Blender Kit is a useful and free add-on in Blender from which you can import models and materials. You will get the link in the description. So if you have downloaded the Blender Kit add-on, you will get the search panel something like this. So let's search brown fabric. Okay, so I think this is what we want. So let's drag it and drop it on the armrest. So we will do the same for everyone. So let's go to rendered view and set the render to cycles. And in the let's select this drop down and check uncheck scene world. Now we can see a lot better and set the device from CPU to GPU. Now let's drag and drop this material to on everyone. But now as you can see this material is not scaled evenly on everyone. So for that just select this one and go to edit and press A to select all and go to UV and smart UV project and hit OK. Now as you can see that it is scaled evenly. So we have to do this for everyone. Okay. So I think they are now looking great. Now let's go to shading and let's but let's also select this one and set the brown fabric and also go to edit mode press A and UV smart UV project. Okay. So now let's change the scale of this material and check scene world and let's set the scale to let's say 3. Okay, so now I think it is scaled pretty evenly. Now let's add in a black and white fabric for our cushions. Okay, so let's see which is looking good. Okay, so I like this one. So let's drag and drop on both of these. So now they are looking pretty good. Let's also smarty project them also. Okay, cool. So now let's add in a wood material for these legs. So let's add in a darker. Okay, so this one is looking cool. Okay, just like that. Now let's uh, darken this material. So let's add in a hue saturation node between the base color. And let's decrease this value just a little bit. Okay, so 0.5 is looking good and also let's decrease the saturation just a little bit. Okay, now let's go to layout. So now our couch is ready. Now it's time to render. So let's create a render setup. So let's add in a mesh and a plane and scale it all the way up and move it just a bit down. And now let's go to edit mode and let's extrude this edge of folds. And now let's add in a bevel modifier to this plane and let's increase the amount and let's increase the segments just 15 okay now let's add in our camera so let's set our view like this and go to add on camera now press ctrl alt and 0 to bring camera to view now press G and Z twice and let's move it a bit backwards now let's go to rendered view and check scene world now we have to add a light so let's add in a sun so light and a sun now let's move it upwards and check render region to render faster now let's rotate the sun on the y axis so press r y and move the mouse to rotate just a little bit 
now let's go to sun and set the strength to 10 and set the angle to let's say 50 okay so now our couch is ready now you can render this so let's render this one at 1000 samples now press f12 to render and then your couch is ready okay so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit that like button consider subscribing for more great content and i will see you next time have a nice day